guys, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're taking a look at this giant snowmobile. It is quite large in size. Look at the size of it compared to my head here. It's, uh, well, it's the size of my big egg-shaped head. My head can't drive in the snow, but this thing apparently can. So I'm gonna take it out in the snow here and uh, cruise around and check it out and show you all the cool features on it. Here we go. So the battery for this guy is right in the seat and this little man comes off. You can take him off if you want. Uh, his arms come off as well. So I'm gonna lift up an arm here. Put this guy down, looks like he's having fun. Put the legs back in. Little shock absorbers on the skis, those springs. I don't think it's gonna do too much in the snow, but uh, we'll try it out. Have a little bit of suspension on the rear as well. Now the remote is super tiny. All right, turn your head this way, buddy. And uh, here we go. Plop you down in the snow. So I'm a little bit impressed. This is actually not a hobby grade snowmobile. It's toy grade, but look at this. It can actually drive on the snow, no problem. <laughs> All right, so this is the end of the video. What did you think of this little snowmobile? It's actually, toy grade it's not hobby grade i bought it before christmas it cost me like 50 dollars and i'll put links below to where i found it i looked for it recently and i don't think it's on sale anymore and i think they have different models so i'll just put a bunch of links to different models below if you see this one i think this is called a ma what's it called top maz i don't know top maz racing here's Here's what it says down there. Can you see that? Well, you'll see the unboxing and it will tell you exactly what model it is. It's obviously designed originally for kids, but the reason I got it is because I was gonna take out the motor inside at the servo and put some hobby grade stuff in it and get it going really fast. If I have time this winter, I will do that. It's actually pretty cool. I'm surprised that it actually drives on snow, like they say. Obviously, it doesn't have a massive top speed, but it actually works on snow, so it's pretty cool. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. There's my thumb someplace, and from myself and Mr. Snowmobiler back here. Oh, one last thing. I have to remind you again, the unboxing's next. Watch that, you'll see all the good stuff. All right, again, thumbs up. Take care, catch you the next video. Bye-bye. And now a super quick unboxing of the Yamaha SR Viper. It is quite large. I can barely fit the box in the frame here. First thing in the box would be the instructions and some battery instructions. Next thing in the box is the Yamaha Viper itself. And you can see right here, it's a very nice soft rubber. The track, how it moves. Oop, I gotta take off some rope and twist tie. It's holding the man on. Here's your suspension up front right here not oil filled that would just be a spring inside and a nice long rubber track that won't freeze up in the winter so you can drive it with the man in place or without and as you can see there's the size of my hand and there's the size of the guy the seat has two screws one here one here you take those screws out lift this up and you will see where to put the battery speaking of the battery let's open this box and see what goodies come inside first item is the battery it's a lithium ion battery at 6.4 volts and 1300 milliamps let's just connect this of course you would charge this up first if you want to use it outside what else is in the box you get a 9 volt battery the controller takes a 9 volt battery so it's nice that they supply one you also get the battery charging unit so plug this into the wall plug that into the battery charges up nicely here is the super small mini controller this controller is so small compared to the size of this here snowmobile and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you have uh, a left and a right for your front steering and your forward and backwards on off switches in the back right here power this on and uh, it should be powered on and we have some lights flashing in the front. We are ready to go. Now, if you wish to drive this indoors on carpet, it does come with an extra set of skis for indoors on carpet or outside on pavement, concrete, 
in grass, but if you're going to drive it in the snow, well then you just use the included skis that are already on it, which are nice and flat. And if you have some other RC vehicles at home, you can put these skis on too. Take the front wheels off and stick these skis on. And that concludes my review of this really cool Yamaha SR Viper snowmobile. If you enjoyed the review, please give it a thumbs up. Check below for links to where to find this. And we'll catch you in a future video with lots of fun reviews. Take care. <laughs>